Oh. Oh, no, no. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. Why are we still here? Play the- on Rio. I can do that. On Rio sounds kind of fun. Would y'all get like totally offended if I use like Noed on Rio? <laughs> like, like this build. This is, oh, I haven't played this build with an on Rio in so long. In game on Rio. All right, we're doing that. It's gonna be in game on Rio. I hate going to someone's house and there's no hand towels but bath towels. Same. I'm a, I'm a slut for hand towels. <laughs> I just did a hundred piece Lego piece. I got mad at it, but finished it. Oh my gosh, I could never. I always talk to Edward about the fact that like when I was growing up, I always wanted to mess with Legos, but my parents were like, you're a girl. You can't mess with the Lego or you can't play with Legos. And so I always say like, that's the reason why my brain doesn't function how it should. Like I, I'm not, I don't have a Lego brain. And so I always ask him for his Lego brain when I need help with stuff. Legos make me mad, too damn tedious. Oh man. I come back and say I'm gonna sleep and to just hear that? What, that I haven't played with Legos? My parents said it was a boy toy. I wasn't allowed to play with Legos. Thanks, thank you. Legos should be for girls because it helps you put puzzles together. Right, like I would think like that would be helpful because I mean, I guess, <laughs> okay. Like we're talking like um, statistically speaking, you know, girls are not supposed to be as good at building things as guys. And I think a big portion of that is mostly the toys that we were given as kids wasn't to like, like it wasn't to make our brain think that way, but guys toys were. And so I, I feel like if you were to just give girls the same toys, then that would like help to fix that problem. But. Who knows? Who knows what society could change if we were equal <laughs> with our with girls and boys, but who knows? Oh, she's dead. Unless she has balanced, but no. Big agree. Yeah, I always tell Edward, I'm like, okay, we are going to set our kids up for success. And part of that is that they are going to be treated as equal as they possibly can. Mostly because I saw with my parents or like with myself, Ah, he's a sneaky boy. I saw with myself. Oh, he knew that like there are things that I wanted to do as a kid. My parents wouldn't let me do, but they would let my brother do. And I always hated that because I was like, that's not fair. Not to say that I'm like hindered now because of it, but just a little, little sad as a kid. I think that's like something I'm always asking Edward. Like, how do people raise good kids to be like this and that and whatever? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go for her. Oh, she's, I think she's dead here actually. Yeah, like I'm like, how can I raise my kids to be good but also be interested in things that'll benefit them. I don't know, you know, it's like always like that question of what could be done differently than how I was raised, but better. <laughs> Without leaving out the parts that were good. Raising kids is very complex and a lot of it is subjective. Yeah, I think that's the problem. I'm like, no, I gotta be as objective as possible. It's gotta be all based in research. It's gotta, it has to make sense, you know, which I know there's not possible. It's no way that it can make sense. Hmm. I think the hard part too is you can be entirely conscious about oh 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 they're juicers but it, you know it's a good thing I got no it at the end but you can be entirely conscious of like everything you say or do for your kids and it still not work out how you hoped or would want it to regardless of the amount of options you give them or stuff Daisy what are you looking for Oh, I think there's a thing here, isn't there? Nope. I think she knows. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to get tier one. Yep, there you go. Yeah, some jolts. Let's go. 
We're, it's, it's not a matter of like if, it's like when more so, like when we have the time to. Oh, they nerfed this. Oh, this got changed. That's crazy. All right. Oh, I don't want to go after her, but here I am. We're going. Oh my gosh, I guess him every time. Is she gonna stay? Is she gonna stay? Oh, she did. I think I got her here, did I? I did, cool. Uh, the girl I'm dating has a daughter and I'm basically a third parent to my siblings. Ah, that's so interesting. So you've learned a lot on like ways to, okay. Ways to train kids, I guess. My, um, okay, I, I should have figured that dead hard. I helped my mom basically like raise my nieces. So that gave me a lot of experience and why did he do that? Okay, a lot of experience and like how to raise a kid. That's not to say I'm gonna know what to do when it comes down to it, but what is, and, but, and who says, why did he do that too? <laughs> who is this guy? Step one of teaching kids, make them watch How to Train a Dragon. Step two, buy Spooderman games, make them horror fans. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's a good strat there. All of the above. Whee! Make them get a job, that will be a big thing. Like when I, I won't make them like get a job because they are like, oh, if you don't, you're gonna get kicked out, you know? But I will like want my kid to get a job when they're like 16, whatever years old, just so they, learn that the skills it takes for that because that that was really helpful to me when i was in school or even just like building my resume like the amount of people i've met who don't even have a resume and they're like 25 years old is crazy <laughs> or like not necessarily that they don't have a resume they just don't have experience to put on their resume like that is that's hard Pick my survivor. All right, C. Gomez, but we're doing killer right now. Do you want to pick my killer instead? Being independent too early is bad too. It's tough. Yeah, that's why like, I don't think I would make it like, I, I, I wouldn't want them to feel like they're independent in the sense that if they don't have a job, they're going to get kicked out or they're not going to pay their bills, whatever. But I will tell them like, okay, you want these things. And if you want them, you should work to get a job and afford it. You know, not like a car. Oh, oh no, no, nah, 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 nah. Why are we still here? Sorry, strawberry kiss. I love strawberries, but you don't get it. That, that really killed her just then. <laughs> the stupid vortex thing. Oh no. Wee. Aw. Wee. All right. Oh, this is a pretty good map. Okay. It's kind of a small map. So this is gonna uh, be not fun for them, but fun for me, I guess. I got bamboozle, endearing, spirit fury, I think, and play with your food. I don't know if that's right, but I got I got stuff. I got perks. Oh, there's somebody right there. Let me break those. I guess I did. Squash. Get over here, Kate. <laughs> yeah, if I can get her. That's one stack, right? She's my obsession, so. That'll be one second play with your food. No. 
Where's my stack? Oh, this is the wrong Meg. It is the wrong Meg. This isn't the good Meg. This is the bad Meg. All right. I just need one more person. One person's got to top me off and then, <laughs> then we're at infinite tier three. All right, she's already, she's already topped out. Who's up here? Megan? The wrong Megan? I can't even find the other Meg. Close. Okay. Break that because that's Spirit Fury. Oh, buddy. Oh, sir, what did you do? You might have killed her. No, you're fine. Cool. And I have infinite tier three at three gins, so it's not too bad. Is this Meg? It is. Megan, come here. Wait, how did I lose both stacks? Uh, okay. Wait, can I hang her? Random lag spike for a second. We're back though. I went swinging through because I have Spirit Fury, so. Oh. And she's dead. Okay, thank you. All right. I don't know what they're doing. They're throwing. Wait, different characters give you buffs or something. So the perk I'm using, it's called play with your food. And whenever I get in chase with my obsession, which on the left-hand side, you can see it in there with like the little are things around the Megan, you can um, get a speed boost there. That's not with every perk, that's just with Meg. Or not with just Meg, that's just with play with your food. And I just happen to have it. Hmm, Megan. Myers is a broken lunge. I love it. <laughs> it's pretty fun. All right, Megan, one more time. Thank you. Three stacks. They can't outrun me. Look how stupidly fast this boy is. Yeah, like, what can you do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, man. They can't even heal. There's no point in healing. Thank you for getting on this side. It makes it easier for me. Wait, she ended up throwing it on me and it didn't work because of Spirit Fury? Was that a buff? Is that a buff to Spirit Fury or was that broken? <laughs> I am a little confused here, actually. All right, they have all been <laughs> hooked on that one hook. I think she's in here. I gotta go back. <laughs> Meg, come here. Oh, she had balanced.
Right. No, when you throw it, and they're on the same side as you carrying someone, it does that. That's broken. So is that like a bug? So I feel like it shouldn't do that. <laughs> Myers at tier three when he has bamboozle is just like, that's crazy. Like, that's so fast. It's like Hunter's opening the locker fast. Gingy's, <laughs> yeah, Sashlin. Tier three Myers is fun. GG's. Happy Halloween. <laughs> uh, adrenaline, quick and quiet. Rimpers. What? What are they saying? Oh, they were nice. Oh, they said permanent tier three. 